Alright, welcome back to the Ogre Gaming Video Setup Guide. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and cover the EQ2 Craft Bot. It's, uh, it's a great bot. I uh, really have been enjoying it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a short video on some of its features. First thing we're going to do to get the program started is go ahead and hit your tithe key and type in O-G-R-E-C-R-A-F-T. This will open up your Warcraft UI. We'll go ahead and start at the top. The first tab is Crafting Options. On Crafting Options, you'll be able to specify the quality level, the durability, the amount of power to craft, and the amount of power to save. It'll let you choose the option to buy your recipes prior to crafting, scribe your recipes on level, and screenshot on a failed reaction. The button here below that says Use Custom Options, if you click that, it'll use custom options for only this character. Otherwise, it'll use the global configuration. The next tab is your navigation options. By default, it's set to allow use of no map navigation and allow use of basic map navigation. Most of the time, you won't have to edit anything here. Your Recipes is your main tab. You can filter recipes by Standard Recipes, Imbued Recipes, Advanced, Tinkered, Adornments, or you can limit by Levels. You can also search partial names with this little check mark right here. If I look for Dyer, I'll find Dyer Balm Journeyman. The next tab is Save and Load Queues. We'll save the next tab for a little bit later, and I'll go ahead and click on Ritz. Under Ritz, you have a couple of options. You can choose how many Ritz you'd like to complete. You can select which option your character uses from the Ritz agent. You can also select Camp when finished. On the next tab is Low Level Leveling. I'm going to go ahead and show you this in just a couple minutes. The next tab is Auto Tinkering. The Auto Tinkering tab will help you to level your tinkering skill. It'll also buy your tinkering recipes for you. To be able to use the Buy Tinker Recipes button, you have to go to Steam Bond, find your way over here to the Tinkering Trainer, become a tinkerer, and then you, if you have at least three platinum on you, you can click this button and it'll automatically buy all your tinkering recipes. Alright, once you become a tinkerer, all you have to do is go in and click on the Start Tinkering button to begin. It works just like low leveling. Every 10 recipes, it'll go and buy new recipes. When you click on the Start Tinkering button, it'll buy the fuel it needs to make the 10 recipes and go over to a crafting station and begin to craft them. Let's go back to the Recipe tab. Under the Recipe tab, you can add the items you'd like to make in a couple of different ways. You can double click, or you can select how many you'd like and click Add Recipe. To remove an item, simply highlight it, and you can remove, decrease, or increase the amount. You can select several recipes. In the bottom box, it shows how many resources are available and how many are going to be used by the current crafting project. Now we'll move back to the save and load queues because it works well with the recipes. We'll click on it and we'll go ahead and save the queue that we have right now as random. We'll go ahead and save that and we'll go ahead and clear this out. Now, later on if I'd like to load that same queue, I just simply click in this box, click on random, 
and load recipe and I get the recipes back this could come in real handy if you're making arrows all the time or you're making certain sets of food all the time it's a great feature the next tab we're going to show you is the load leveling tab I'm going to go ahead and leave this recipe count at 6 because that's about how many recipes you can do before you get a new level the bot will select the highest level item that you can make so keeping this number small allows you to be doing the highest recipe you can to start it we'll just click on start LLL crafting right now is completely automated it just bought all the th materials and books to go ahead and do its low leveling all the movement here was completely automatic it runs to the crafting table and starts the recipes I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'll go ahead and start it back at the end of the crafting session when you're finished with an item it may pop up a little window up here go ahead and click on do not show product details after creation and click close and it won't pop up every time when the bot reaches level 9 and 19 it will stop and pause and let you pick your advancement choices once you go and make your choice it's time to start leveling a little bit faster click on the writ tab select your writ count and which option you'd like it to pick default is one that's the highest level and click on start writs what will happen is orgcraft will hail the writ giver get the quest read what you need for the quest add it to the queue and then begin processing the queue this is all done automatically so we'll go ahead and click start writs and it runs over and starts the writ if you've got these options selected buy recipes prior to crafting and scribe recipes on level your crafter should level fairly quickly just requiring you to start the writs button every 10 writs Once your crafter is finished up the writ, it goes back, turns it in, selects a new writ, and then buys all the materials and starts crafting again. At the end of 10 writs, you simply press the Start Writs button again to repeat the processor. And that concludes our video walkthrough of the Orcraft. Thanks for watching.